Minerals are another compositional important elements in case of food. And they are achieved normally once we remove all the water and all the organic matter from the food or even from human body. Whatever is left is called as minerals. So in case of humans, our bones and all this skeleton is basically composed of minerals and it is about 3% of our overall body weight. So that all uh, left, left out material after burning uh, everything else is called as minerals. Uh, they can be classified as trace elements, trace minerals, or major elements or major minerals. Uh, we'll discuss some of them uh, here. Like, for example, iron is the most important one, uh, which is part of the hemoglobin molecule. Uh, of course, the importance of hemoglobin, you know, it's part of the blood, and uh, it is also part of the myoglobin, which is the important element of the muscles, human muscles. Uh, so deficiency of iron can lead to some serious problems such as anemia. Uh, iron can be present in multiple uh, foods, for example, in case of meat and liver. Uh, it is also present in uh, plant sources, but in case of plant sources, we could have certain uh, anti-nutritional factors like phytates, etc., that can bind with the iron and it doesn't um, absorb by human body. So we need to understand that there could be deficiency of iron from um, if we consume some of the plant sources with anti-nutritional factor. Uh, so the iron can be provided by uh, in, in case of supplements as well, but there are also chances that the higher amount of iron can be toxic uh, to human body. Calcium is another uh, important uh, structural part of uh, bones and teeth. Um, it is absorbed in the presence of vitamin D and lactose. Uh, it is also part of the muscles as well. Uh, it is important in blood clotting function uh, as well. So calcium is uh, predominantly a major uh, mineral that is found in our bones and teeth. Sodium is another mineral, which is an important mineral that maintains the extracellular fluid outside our cells and within the tissues. Um, but whenever there is extra amount of sodium present, that could lead to hypertension. So we need to be uh, careful that we don't consume too much of sodium in our diet. Uh, the normal amount that is required, is it ranges from 1100 to 3300 mg per day per person. Another important element is chlorine. Chlorine, like uh, it is also extracellular fluid like sodium. Uh, it is also important uh, to produce hydrochloric acid in our stomach. As you know that hydrochloric acid in stomach um, helps in digestion of food. So that's why chlorine becomes much more important. Uh, there are hardly uh, situations where we actually need this chlorine as supplement. But in certain cases, like for example, in case of excessive exercises, if we lose too much of chlorine, we might need to be, it might need to be replenished some other, through other sources. Uh, similarly, potassium is also another important mineral which is present in muscles and the nerve function of the uh, nerve function uh, is also related to the uh, potassium contents. Um, it also takes care of the intracellular uh, balance of uh, fluids. Uh, for example, like sodium takes care of the extracellular fluids uh, through osmotic pressure. Uh, potassium takes care of the intracellular fluid and the osmotic pressure. It is present in eggs, oranges, fresh milk, bananas, etc. Uh, cell membranes are very much permeable, so it can move from cell uh, to, towards cell and outside the cell as well. So whenever there is a deficiency of uh, potassium, uh, and it is 6% it is of the potassium is lost, that results in death. But normally this doesn't happen because there's a pumping system that it can pump the potassium from the extracellular fluid inside uh, to, towards inside the cells by removing the sodium, uh, by replacing sodium within the, within the cells. Uh, phosphorus is another important uh, element of our bones as well, like, uh, like calcium is. And it is 85% of this uh, phosphorus is bound with calcium. Uh, it has also other functions like some of the buffers that we do have in our bodies to maintain pH of, uh, say, blood or urine. They, are com they consist of uh, phosphor phosphorus. 
It also important in energy release process like uh, through ATP to ADP. So it also is an important part of um, energy release mechanism. It is present in meat, fish, eggs, and nuts. Magnesium is also a minor component of our teeth and bones. It is also present in cells and soft tissues as well. Uh, it is uh, involved in protein synthesis also. Uh, and sulfur is another important element as we discussed that there are uh, many proteins, they, com uh, they are composed of sulfur as part of the proteins or some of the amino acids. So if we have deficiency of sulfur, that would mean the deficiency of protein might uh, takes place. So we need to take this um, sulfur in order to take care of the deficiencies of proteins. As we discussed, uh, the, the major element, there are also trace elements and they are equally important, but we do need them in a very smaller and minute amount uh, to regulate our body processes. So these are, there's a list uh, like iodine, fluorine, cobalt, magnesium, silicon, tin, etc. So they are needed in lesser amount as compared to the major um, minerals.